All right, guys, so what is up? Adrian, I'm back here um, filming today. Got a small update. I know I haven't filmed in a while, and I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, the apartment's kind of a mess. Um, got a bunch of new parts in for the car. Give me a second here. So I got a new bunch of parts in for the car. Um, I'm going to be doing a Sebring track day with my father next month. I think it's like February the 30th or something, or like the first day of March. I forgot. I got to look again. But I got a bunch of parts here. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys. Um, I know I've been lost couple updates i am building a shop 135i uh, race car it is for a friend um so we kind of collabed he has uh the car i decided that he should got uh he should buy what i recommend him and we should go from there and go step by step so the motor had originally spun a rod on one two five and six and then at my old job miami engines they rebuilt it and then we did the m235i forge crank with the VAC bearings and ARP studs. And we also did the, what else? We left it bone stock. So he did the thousand mile break in, we did the oil change. Then I ordered the VRSF catalyst downpipe, the charge pipe, as well as the 7.5 race intercooler because it is going to be a strictly a race car. Um, stock turbo, it has a Dynan S1 flash on it. We're going to be doing MHD once we get the login or we're going to have to take it to some motorsports place down here that is a licensed dealer for dining so that they can unflash it but um yeah guys so i'm super stoked to be uh informing you guys on that sadly with the daylight time savings i never did a uh i never did any update videos about it sooner and i never film because i leave work at 3 30 by the time i get the car they drop it off i lift it up it's already nighttime, so i'm working in the night um so i did on the maintenance side water pump and thermostat it was already leaking it cracked on that plastic seam where it welds on um i did hardware motorsport wheels to conversion 10 mil spacers up front 12 in the rear didn't rub on a 225 40 18 and on the rear it was a 245 40 18 as well it looked perfect i'll post a picture down and then we did michelin pilot super sports before his first track that i didn't attend and it was a 245 4018 up front. But I think a 235 is better, guys, because it rubs just a little bit up front and the rear, it's perfect. Also, the struts are kind of blown, so I will be doing Olin's RNT coilovers on it. We decided to go full all that with this build, so I'm super stoked. That will definitely be getting posted. Um I did what else? Stainless steel brake lines, stop tech rotors, stop tech pads. Didn't film any of that. Like I said, daylight time savings. Um, and on the weekends, I just, you know, like to relax, do things on my car personally. So what else? What else? Man, I can't think anymore right now. But yeah, I've done a bunch of stuff to that car. Super nice car. Um, black on black. It is DCT. Oh, that's right. Speaking about that. Um, I got a DCT cooler for it as well as the manual radiator. So I don't have to use the plugs. It'll just clean up the engine base. Super nice. Um, we're going to be ordering Momo seats from my uncle. He's a distributor for Momo. And we're going to be ordering as well, maybe the M-Track steering wheel that they put in the E9X M3s. I want to get in contact with uh, M-Track and see if it is compatible. Um, and a couple other things that we're going to be doing um, besides the coilovers. We're going to do a heart, uh, RSR studio. Uh, row cage in the rear harnesses um we're going out loud with the car but not crazy he wants to still drive it every day if he wants to um but yeah car's gonna be super sick we haven't decided on wheels yet so that's why we just did a flush kit and i'm gonna post pictures of the car now so for my
and I'm gonna post pictures of the car now. So for my car personally, let me turn the camera around. As you can see, I got Hot Wheels and everything. Give me a sec. So here I have a little Hot Wheel collection. Some of my favorites I've been collecting. One of my friends collects and he kind of tells me what's cool and what's not. Got a bunch of them. Got basically the whole Momo collection right there. This is kind of my garage. I live in an apartment. I have a second bedroom um, in here. You can kind of see it there. So this is kind of my garage here. So here's one of my toolboxes I carry, my home toolbox. This is all my storage, kind of, where I keep, uh, here I label everything, vanos, shift knobs, spark plugs, lug nuts. Um, I got all kinds of stuff here. AN lines, nitrous kit from my Mustang when I had back in the day, which you guys saw in the previous video. My jack and stuff. So for my car, um, I ordered this from, I think it's called oembeamerparts.com. So let me actually lay everything out so I can show you guys. Give me a second here. Alrighty, you guys. So here I have everything laid out for you guys. So 335 IS or 550i clutch, um, FCP, lifetime warranty. Paid $291 for it. Um, I haven't installed it. It's been in my room here for about a couple months now, but clutch had slipped on E30. Um, so yeah, next up, got a oil cooler. So I am coming out with my own uh, oil cooler kit. Um, anybody can buy the pieces and kit it together, but I'm going to be making a DIY kit where you can buy it already assembled depending on the location. I will design it in different ways. Um, Vargas Turbo Dash 10 line plate with Dash 10 lines. I bought the Dash 10 line holders, external thermostat that opens at 150 or 180 degrees. And I still haven't put these fittings on because I got to make a bracket with this piece of aluminum. I mean, this piece of steel here for the OEM location. And then I got to trim and then add the 90s on there. So as you guys can see that right there. I also got this right here, Vargas Turbo uh, outlet pipe. I got it for 50 bucks, uh, for 50 bucks on eBay, used. Give me a second here. Hopefully I don't break my water pump doing this. So then gently flip it up right down. If it wants to cooperate. All right, give me a second here. So like I said, I got this on oembeamerparts.com or something like that. My buddy sent me the link. This is a full metal housing aluminum water pump for the N54 and 55s. I've heard rumors that it's supposedly OEM for the N20s. Um, I've heard rumors that it's not, that this is just like an OEM replacement. So I'm taking a gamble on it. Um, I'm not too scared about it because a water pump should work. I'm not saying you can just buy a Chinese one, but I've heard good reviews on it. I haven't seen any bad comments on this specific one on their page. So, yeah. So that's that. Um, here I got the radiator for the 135. Got to put the middle stainless steel brake lines on. I ordered a special tool for it. Here I have the oil cooler from BMS for the DCT. Um, super dope setup. I'm going to post the picture down below um, so you guys can see it. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Oh. Sorry, I like talking to the camera and facing it. Um, so I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm sorry that I walk around. It's just the way I am, even when I'm making phone calls. Um, I just want to make you guys an update and just kind of explain to you guys why I've been a little MIA. Um, I opened up the LLC for CRT Motorsports. I've been posting a lot of my Instagram, my social media pages, everything. I've been assigning a website with my buddy. So I'm super excited. 2022, a lot of good things coming this way. Um, I bought a GoPro so we can film a bunch of online, I mean, onboard footage. Um, and then also so that I have proof that the oil cooler does work, that it is uh, like a performance kit. It's not just for looks because the AN lines and blah, blah, blah. So I'm super excited for all that. And I also ordered a harness bar on Amazon and a universal one for like a hundred bucks. Um, my buddy has it in his car and it works just fine. So... I will be doing a full update of all the parts going on my car, the clutch as well. I'll show you guys how to do it in the driveway. Um, I've done it before. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a small update. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.
Guys, one more update. I finally made shirts for CRT Motorsports. They will be online on the website. Or if not, um, in the meantime, until the website's down, um, we can get into contact through Instagram, and you can PayPal me, and I can send that out to you guys. So here it is. Tell me if you guys like it. I didn't want to do too much on it. Um, I wanted the BMW logo with colors, but it is what it is. Um, my next door neighbor makes them for me. I just buy the shirts. Um, so yeah, they're good quality. I bought them at Target. They're not Gildens. I don't know if I should get Gildens. In the past, I've bought from other people and they do fade. <coughs> Excuse me. So I will be trying this brand just to see on myself personally before I make a batch. Um, but tell me what you guys think about this design, you know? If you guys like it, if you don't, I'm sorry it's wrinkled. Just took it out of the dryer just to show you guys in the YouTube video. But I definitely hope you guys enjoy all the content I'm going to be making and all the content I do. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.